Have you ever stumbled upon a film that left you pondering for days? Well, brace yourselves because the 1978 movie Interiors is a roller coaster of emotions packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments. Directed by Woody Allen, this film delves into the complexities of family dynamics and the struggles of interpersonal relationships. As the plot unfolds, viewers are drawn into the lives of a family grappling with existential crises and inner turmoil. Now, here's the catch amidst the serious themes. There's an array of moments that'll make you laugh, gasp, and maybe even shed a tear. But which scene lingers in your memory? Is there a particular moment that struck a chord with you? Or perhaps you found yourself drawn to a specific character? We're eager to hear your thoughts and experiences related to this thought-provoking film. Share your cherished memories or personal insights in the comments below. Your story could spark a fascinating conversation. So grab some popcorn and keep watching. There's plenty more to uncover in interiors. Exploring the depths of human emotion, the film in question has left a lasting impression on critics and viewers alike. Directed by a well-known filmmaker who previously found success with a different kind of movie, this production takes a more serious approach, abandoning the usual comedic elements. Instead of relying on a traditional soundtrack, it leans heavily on the actor's performances to drive the story forward. At its core, the movie delves into the complexities of family dynamics and the struggles of existence. The main character, portrayed by Geraldine Page, encapsulates the internal battles of a woman trapped in her meticulously crafted world. When confronted with the harsh realities of life, her facade crumbles, revealing the depth of her pain. Another actor, played by Maureen Stapleton, brings a contrasting energy to the film. Their vibrant personality adds layers to the narrative, emphasizing the contrast between inner turmoil and outward appearance. While some may argue about its long-term effect compared to the director's later works, the movie's somber tone and deep themes might not appeal to those seeking light entertainment. However, its intellectual depth and emotional resonance provide a thought-provoking cinematic experience. In summary, this film showcases the director's ability to navigate human emotions with subtlety and grace. While it may not be as celebrated as some of their other creations, it remains a compelling exploration of the human condition, deserving recognition for its impact on cinema. In a pivotal moment for two remarkable actors, their collaboration in a significant film laid the foundation for future projects. Their performances resonated deeply, showcasing their versatility and leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Directed by a seasoned filmmaker, the movie delved into the complexities of human emotions, weaving a narrative that captivated viewers. With their on-screen chemistry and exceptional acting skills, these actors solidified their places in cinematic history. Their continued success and subsequent roles further highlighted their talent and influence in the world of film. This collaboration serves as a powerful example of the enduring artistry of storytelling on the silver screen. In a notable film, Sam Waterston acted alongside other famous actors. He collaborated with Woody Allen in four movies, including this one we're talking about. Allen drew inspiration from Ingmar Bergman, Eugene O'Neill, and Anton Chekhov for this film. United Artists gave Alan creative freedom after a previous successful project, which led to this captivating movie. Waterston's performance in the film is emotionally deep, showing his skill as an actor and Alan's vision as a director. Interiors is a great example of how collaboration can make a film better. It explores family dynamics and the search for meaning in life. This movie continues to attract audiences with its powerful storytelling and well-played characters. Woody Allen's directorial debut without his own on-screen presence delves into the lives of a family grappling with emotional turmoil. During production, he remained tight-lipped about the storyline, reflecting a sense of apprehension. Originally titled Windows, the film found its identity thanks to Diane Keegan's suggestion, emphasizing the thematic importance of interiors over exteriors. The recurring motif of Windows subtly underscores the character's internal struggles, adding depth to the narrative. As the camera pans through the family's home, the audience is invited to peer into the complex inner worlds of each character, revealing their vulnerabilities and desires. Through meticulous set design and subtle cinematography, the film captures the tension simmering beneath the surface of seemingly ordinary domestic scenes. Alan's exploration of familial dynamics and psychological complexities resonates long after the credits roll, leaving audiences pondering the intricacies of human relationships. Interiors is a poignant meditation on the fragility of the human psyche and the power of introspection. In the town of Larchmont, New York, there's a special house where something magical happened between Woody Allen and Sam Waterston. 
They worked together on several movies, including one called Interiors. One thing that stood out in Interiors was how the names of the people who made the movie were shown at the beginning simple white letters on a black background. This made the movie feel serious, matching its thoughtful mood. It's interesting how even small things like this can stick with you and make a movie memorable. Everything in Alan's movies, from the words the characters say to how the sets look, is done very carefully to make you feel something. That's why movies like Interior stay with us for so long after we've watched them. They're made with a lot of thought and care, and that's what makes them special. In Mary Beth Hurt's first movie role, she gave a really good performance, showing a lot of depth in her character. Critics have compared this movie to Woody Allen's September, saying they both look at family and relationships in similar ways. What's interesting is that both films don't have a lot of background music, which makes the story feel more personal. The director and actors did a great job making sure the lack of music didn't take away from the movie. Instead, it makes the tense moments even more intense and the quiet moments even more thoughtful. It really shows how important everyone's work was in making the movie feel real. Ingrid Bergman was initially considered for the role of Eve in the film, but she declined due to prior commitments. The part eventually went to Geraldine Page. Despite losing out on awards to Jane Fonda, the movie boasted a cast including Dean Keaton, Geraldine Page, Maureen Stapleton, and Sam Waterston, all of whom had either won or been nominated for Oscars. Woody Allen, reflecting on the film, remarked on its influence on his writing style, particularly in its departure from realistic dialogue. According to him, it was a significant film in his life, despite its relative obscurity among his peers in the film industry. Dean Keaton collaborated with Woody Allen on several films, including Play It Again, Sam, Sleeper, Love and Death, Annie Hall, Interiors, Manhattan, Radio Days, and Manhattan Murder Mystery. Interiors marked her appearance in the film, which also served as the final project for costume designer Joel Schumacher. The film drew inspiration from Anton Chekhov's work, centering around three sisters as its main characters. It delves into their complex relationships and inner turmoil. Ian Keaton's portrayal in interior showcases her versatility and talent as an actress, adding depth to the film's narrative. After earning accolades for Annie Hall in 1977, Woody Allen shifted gears with his next directorial venture, exploring his aptitude for serious drama in a departure from his usual comedic endeavors. Geraldine Page, in a performance lasting just 20 minutes and 30 seconds, earned a Best Actress nomination for her role in Interiors, securing the distinction of having the second shortest screen time for such a nomination, surpassed only by Eleanor Parker in Detective Story. Reflecting on the film's release, Woody Allen confessed, I always wanted to see if I had any flair for serious drama. Finally, I had the nerve to try. In the wake of his Best Picture triumph with Annie Hall, Interiors marked Allen's audacious foray into the realm of serious storytelling, with Geraldine Page's brief yet impactful performance adding a unique dimension to the narrative. In the movie, Diane Keaton originally intended for one role, but ended up taking another as she felt more comfortable with it. Editor Ralph Rosenblum, in a biography about Woody Allen, described the filmmaker's intention to make serious movies, even with a comedic background, Despite facing challenges and doubts about the movie's success, Woody Allen managed to rescue it with his own work. Interiors received five Academy Award nominations, but didn't win any Oscars, including nods for Best Actress and Best Director. Woody Allen's last color film until a Midsummer Night sex comedy was one of eight cinema collaborations with Dean Keaton. It stood out in 1978 as the only film Oscar nominated for Best Director, but not Best Picture. It marked a pivotal moment in Allen's career, showcasing his transition from color to black and white in subsequent films like Manhattan and Stardust Memories, while also solidifying his creative partnership with Keaton. Their collaboration brought depth and nuance to the characters, making interiors a standout piece in Allen's filmography. In this movie, there are only nine characters and you won't see any big crowd scenes. The main family is played by five actors, showing their past in silent flashbacks. It's kind of like a story inspired by Anton Chekhov, focusing on family tension and thinking deeply about things. At first, Woody Allen was worried that trying to make a deep family drama might end up feeling like a soap opera, but the movie turned out to be a moving exploration of how people relate to each other. The way the story is told is simple, which helps you really understand the complicated feelings between the characters. The movie's look is beautiful, showing off the settings in a way that adds to the overall feeling. The actors do a great job with their roles, making you feel connected to the characters and their emotions. 
In the end, this movie shows us important things about life and family, all told in a powerful way. A notable aspect of the film is its influence on music. Manchester Orchestra's song Alice and Interiors draws inspiration from it, featured in their album I'm Like a Virgin Losing a Child. Similarly, Death Cab for Cutie's death of an interior decorator is based on its storyline. It marks Woody Allen's first venture into dramatic filmmaking. Known for comedy, Allen aimed to defy expectations by infusing no humor into the movie. A pivotal scene involves the family sharing laughter over a joke, though the audience never learns its content. Notably, this is the sole film directed by Allen where he doesn't star. Instead, Diane Keaton assumes a significant role, contrasting with her minor part in Radio Days, which Allen narrated. In a surprising turn, a renowned director's 1978 movie showcased a remarkable departure from his usual comedic style, delving deep into themes of family tragedy and emotional turmoil. This shift caught many fans off guard, accustomed to his trademark humor and light-hearted storytelling. However, it demonstrated the director's versatility and depth as a filmmaker. The movie abandoned witty one-liners and slapstick humor for a raw, introspective portrayal of human relationships. Through its lens, the director explored the complexities of family dynamics, revealing the intricacies of love, loss, and the fragility of human connections. Critics praised this bold move, commending the director for his creative courage and willingness to explore new artistic avenues. While some fans initially struggled to adapt to the change in tone, many grew to appreciate the film's emotional depth and haunting beauty. It served as a powerful reminder that true artistry knows no limits, and great filmmakers can transcend genre boundaries to deliver compelling narratives. The movie remains a timeless masterpiece, resonating with audiences worldwide long after its release. In the realm of film history, it holds a special place, showcasing the director's exceptional talent and visionary storytelling. Through its exploration of human emotion and familial relationships, the film invites viewers to ponder the complexities of life's experiences 